Ever found yourself saying, I don't have time for this? Well, prepare for an adventure into the fascinating world of busyness and our choices about our time. You see, that simple phrase has two interesting meanings. Firstly, it can be a good thing to set boundaries, to protect our time for things we really want to do. It's about saying no to some things so we can say yes to what matters the most. Like owning our time. But wait, there's more. The second meaning reveals a hidden choice we often make. We say we want to do something, but deep down, we are choosing not to make time for it. Imagine this, picking cooking for the family over diving into that awesome book, or grabbing extra sleep instead of hitting the swimming pool. These choices show what matters most to us. As Buxton once said, if you want time, you must make it. Let that sink in. So when we say we don't have time, we're actually making choices and deciding not to make time for certain activities. Pretty amazing, right? But hold on. Some people argue that I don't understand how much time their cause and commitments took from them. And you know what? They're right. I don't. But here's a question. Do you know exactly how much time you spend on each activity? When I ask them if they know how much time they spend on which activity, they often look lost. Sometimes it's like stepping into the world of uncertainty. Sure, we might know our commute time, home to work, but what about the rest? It's like a puzzle we haven't solved yet. But don't worry, there's a game-changing solution called time tracking. Just like managing money, keeping track of your time decisions is a game changer. Think of it as your personal time bank. At the end of each month, you'll have a clear picture of how you spend your precious minutes. No more stumbling in the dark. Without this information, we are like explorers with out a map. How can we know if our time management is good? And if it's not? How can we improve it? Tracking is the answer. Want to have more time for specific activities, for yourself, for your side project? Start monitoring your time precisely. Keep track of your decisions you are making. And it is the same as money. At the end of each month, we track our expenses against our revenues. Without this information, we are in the dark, completely blind, not knowing if our finances are healthy. And if not, how can we improve them? So let's crack the time code and make every minute count and share with me how you go.